hello, everybody, and uh, we are coming to you live from Northern California. I'm at my home, of course. We normally do these lunch and live learn, lunch and learns in person, but right now we're getting creative and doing virtual lunch and learns. So hopefully, you had a good lunch from your own pantry, your own refrigerator, and made to order. But uh, my name is Brent Gove, and I hope you enjoyed the presentation we just had. I'm going to interview a celebrity agent who joined EXP just for a few minutes here, about five minutes. We'll bring in Mr. Flair. is. You're starting to look like the insurance commercial there, Frank. You got <laughs> your mic turned on. Can we hear you? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, it's great. Except your chin's cut off. You might give a way to tilt that. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got we yeah. to see your face. Frank Crandall, welcome to the big show. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. So I get to interview you now. Um, you, when you first got in real estate, how long ago, how many years ago was that? Uh, I got in in 2003. Okay, and who did you talk to? Who was one of the people you talked to to see if it would be a good idea and if you, they thought you could make it in the industry? I talked to you back in 2002 and I was coming from another industry, and I'm, I'll never forget that evening. We met at Makuni, and sushi. Uh, you had sushi. sushi. You had sushi. Um, I can't stand it, so I had to get some brown rice or something like chicken that. Chicken and rice. You had teriyaki chicken and rice. That's right, right. That's right. So I just asked you a couple of questions about real estate, and you encouraged me to do it. You said you fit the personality, and uh, I did it. And I started with Keller Williams back in 2003 at that office on the corner of American River Drive and Howe Avenue. Nice. And you were a team leader and ended up moving to Southern California, being a team leader down there. And you did yeah, two well. years later, they put me on a plane and I was a team leader for a, a small office in Little Italy down in San Diego. And that was my first assignment. Then Little they moved Italy, me to about five of their offices and... Uh, my, my big one was Santa Clarita, uh, started with about 57 agents, and when I left, it was about 360. Wow. Now, I want to go back to Little Italy. That's, isn't it the gas lamp district of old, quaint downtown San Diego? No, it's a little bit farther north. It's oh, on a street okay. called India, India Street. All right. Yeah. Well, I've been, I've been down there. I guess it's, I don't know, I, it's, all, it's pretty, pretty quaint. Pretty cool, as they say. And then, and then you went on to other Keller Williams and ran Santa Clarita. That's awesome. And then you transitioned to become a regional manager for a, a big firm after that, right? Yeah, what happened is there was uh, my wife um, had some cancer issues and she wanted to come back home and, and be with her grandson. And we came back to Sacramento and uh, I pretty much fell on my sword and asked Keller Williams where they wanted me. And it just didn't work out. So I did take a, a manager's position with Remax here in Sacramento. And then they promoted me in a year to regional manager. And I'll never forget. That's a big I, deal. Yeah, I never, I'll never forget. I heard a guy named Gene Frederick move to EXP. And I was just shocked. And then when I heard you move to EXP, I called Gene right away. And I go, okay, guys, what's going on? And Gene says, just get a hold of Brent, just come on in. And that was a little over almost three years ago to the month. By the way, I think you're one of the only agents that has ever called me besides Nancy. I have a, she was an ALC member out in Ohio. She called me, she'd been watching all the videos, but I had to call everybody. So every once in a while, God gives you an easy one. So thank you, Frank, for being my Christmas present. Yeah. So. You, you've been in real estate for, what, 17 years now, something like that? Yeah. Had an amazing career, always promoted, always doing well. And um, so what was it you saw? You're, here you are, reads, not just a manager of a REMAX franchise. You're in charge of an entire region. You're all the manager's boss, right? You oversee the whole region. And then you talk to Gene. You know me. You respect us. And then you watch the webinar and what caught your eye? Was it the training, the education, the uh, lead generation, the stock or the revenue share? What was it about the model that caught Frank Crandall's eye? Rev share. Rev share. No, no doubt about it. 
What do you mean by that? Explain. I mean, they didn't have that at REMAX? Well, along, uh, <laughs> no. Uh, three years ago, when Rob Flick uh, did the initial presentation for me when they used the old system, and I looked at, looked at the potential, and it was more money than I've ever dreamed of, and I says, you have got, got to be kidding me. And I have to tell you, Brent, you may not know this, but you said, Frank, do you, do you think you can recruit five people a year and after recruiting all those people for Keller Williams and Remax, I go, no brainer, yeah. no brainer. So, um, you know, it's, it's been an awesome ride. The only, the only tough thing three years ago was to tell my wife, Mary, no, every, every two weeks, not getting a paycheck. Now it's an independent contractor. So that was a little rough for a couple of months. I had to spend the nights on the couch, but That's funny. it's been great. So it was just you three years ago. Yeah. And today, how many people are in your revenue share organization? How many are overall organization? Yeah, I, I looked at it this morning and I'm at 299. You know why God has you there, right? To keep you humble. <laughs> you go over 300 and you're King Kong, 299. He keeps yeah. you humble. That's funny. I'm sure you'll cross 300 today. So congratulations in advance, if not today, tomorrow. But um, that's exciting. So you, you, how many agents or brokers out there have a 300-person office? And then usually they have to have an office space for those people and massive overhead. How much office space do you have, Frank? <laughs> I don't have an office at all. Wow. No so leases. Have, you have no. Very little, is it safe to say you have very little overhead? Very little overhead. Yeah, like probably less than a couple grand a month, right? Oh, less. Uh, I think $85 a month for my EXP bill is my overhead. Yeah. Thank you. Come in here, Ty. We're, this is my son, Ty. We we're all working from home. This is my 16-year-old. He is taller than me. It's quite irritating. But he loves it. What's up? Um, right on, dude. Thanks. All right. All right. So, um, hey, so here's my point. I had 47 agents working for me at REMAX. You know what my overhead was, Frank? I didn't even have an office. I had eight private offices to house my 47 agents. I was just a REMAX agent, not a broker. I didn't have a brokerage. You know what my overhead was a month? I don't know. 128000 a month. <sighs> For 47 agents plus me. Now, here you are, 299 and you're $85 a month for our technology fee, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's crazy. So, you're highly profitable. So, let me ask you a question. You know, you've gone from you to 299 What do you think in the next couple of years you're going to do with the 299 Like a year from how about a year from now? April 2021, one year from now, the pandemic's over. We're back to selling homes like crazy. By the way, we just sold in the last two weeks 475 homes right here in Sacramento. Um, you know, closed escrow. And, and um, I think we have over 500 in escrow. We're selling homes. That's not the rate we were, but we are selling homes. But where do you see it a year from now? What will that 299 be? Today? Um, I'm looking at anywhere from 1,500 to 1,700 agents. Um, I have to tell you, Brent, that, you know, a lot of people think that you get in and you do this and it's easy. There's been some real months where not a lot of stuff is going and, and you really have to stay mentally tough and mentally strong. And um, EXP is not for the weak-minded agent. You've really got to be self-disciplined. And if you can't catch it for yourself, you know, I've been very fortunate. I've had you as my upline and every time you speak, you're very motivating and every time I heard you speak or Gene or somebody else, it just re-sponsored me back into the business. So the fact that I never quit is how I'm able to be at the 299, almost the 300 mark. And I think that's very important for a lot of people who, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on to where things aren't clicking. You know, I've, I've worked on P I worked on Elgin for over a year. You know, I've worked for a couple, a uh, couple of big, Generals for me now for two and a half years. It's time. So we're, yeah, it it's, it's not Williams your time, time. It's in God's time. Yeah. It took Keller Williams nine years to recruit me from Keller Williams. So a year, two and a half years is nothing. Right. Um, by the way, I only changed companies one time in 20 years. When I saw this model that you all just saw, 
I moved in two weeks. Because <laughs> I saw Remax and Keller is very similar. Keller said they have more training, right? But I saw them as very similar. When I saw this, I go, oh, I'm trying that. Didn't know if it'd work, but I go, I'm going to try it for six months. And either it's going to work or not. If not, I'll take my hat, put it in my hand, put my cap on my hand. I go back to Keller Williams. I'd been at, uh, you know, you just watched my webinar. 12 years Remax, eight years Keller Williams. I go back and say, take me back. I fell. And they right. laugh at me. Ha, ha, ha. I was good with that. I did not care. I go, I've got to try this model. And I sponsored a bunch of people. It went huge. You've done the same thing. By the way, Frank, you came to us three years ago. How big was your old brokerage you came from? Do you remember the overall? 1,100 number? agents. Roughly? So you're telling me this April, you'll be like 30% larger than your old brokerage, which has been around for 25 years. Yes. Maybe 30 years. Yeah. And, and you will within four years be 30% larger with $85 a month. Yes. Right. After I was told I'm me. stupid, I'm an idiot. It'll never oh, work. Yeah. It's not sustainable. Um, you know, what's funny is my old brokerage, which is Remax Gold. They told me Keller Williams would destroy my career. It will destroy me. Nobody knows KW. It's like a paint company, Sherman Williams, Keller Williams. And, and I went to Keller Williams and thrived, but it's funny and then same thing, you go from there to EXP, they tell you the same thing they told me about Keller Williams. And it's normal, let's be fair to Remax. They're not bad, evil people. When you leave Sotheby's for Christie's or Christie's for Coble Banker or Coble Banker for Berkshire Hathaway, they don't sit there and applaud you, do nope. they, Frank? And go, that's such a great nope. idea, yeah. right? Well, I can tell you this, is someone who went in your shoes and had 299 and then went to 1500, um, I think that year I made $1.2 million in rev share. Wow. So congratulations to you. Um, you're about to become what they call a very successful person. I will just leave it at that. But I mean, when you weren't in your own, 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 earning over a million dollars a year from something with $85 a month worth of overhead because you're cloud based, that's why they have Microsoft millionaires, Facebook zillionaires, billionaires from Facebook. Google millionaires, Apple millionaires. It's because of the model. EXP, baby, yep. who are we? We have 1% market penetration. By the way, not one person has jumped off this webinar, not one. They wanted, you have an interesting story, Frank. Usually two or three people jump off. There's a lot of people on here, they all stay. Like every single person. I'm looking at the number count. And I'll say this, you know, where else do you have people that help you? I pour into you. Gene Frederick pours into you. It's your career brokerage. Who's like, everyone says, I'll help you. I'll help you. Let me know if you need something. We're rolling up our sleeves and we are making this thing happen. We will fight for you. We will help you do this. Oh. Frank, do you help Elgin and Nate Butcher and all the different people in your organization? You, you serve them. It's upside down instead of you know, the broker, owner, manager, salesperson, and all the agents. It, it's the opposite. We are here to serve you. We work for you. Yep. Try us. Right, Frank? Awesome. Any parting words for anyone checking this out? Um, words of advice if someone's doing their due diligence and wants to take a deeper dive with the XP? Any yeah. Advice um, them, Frank? Anybody that's just checking this business out, if you're remaining loyal to the current brokerage that you're in, I respect you for being loyal, but there is a fine line between profitability and loyalty. And it, it could cost you big time not coming to EXP as opposed to what you're, sp what you're spending now. Yeah, well said. And um, you know, at some point you do have to retire. And here's a chance to retire with dignity, to acquire stock, I suppose you have thousands of shares of stock in the XP. No, I'm I don't, I don't even check. I, I'm one of those guys. I don't even want to know. Uh, you know, I just keep doing helping people and, and helping people get into escrow. And we just t put two people into escrow last week that they never even saw the home. Uh, they saw it on a virtual open house. It's, it's new territory, but we're making I it happen. I love it, Frank. Northern California had been locked down for a month. 
obviously you're in your house, I'm in my house, but we're doing it. So um, to everybody watching, we'll do this again tomorrow, 12.30 to 1.30. I'll interview somebody when it's over at 1.30. You can use the same Zoom link. So here's your homework assignment. Have your spouse watch this with you tomorrow or your best friend or do a beta test as a Keller Williams agent. I made, I made eight of my friends watch this webinar and I go, man, I'm thinking I'm leaving Keller. I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, tell me what you think. And all of them joined EXP, eight for eight. So do a beta test. Have some people log, log in and watch this tomorrow, 1230 to 130. Um, by the way, if you want to be a part of the Brent Cove team meeting for my personal real estate team of over 20 agents, listing specialists, buyer specialists, we're going to talk about how we're selling homes in the pandemic, how we're listing homes in the pandemic, and how we're making it happen. That's tomorrow, 10 a.m. Pacific, and we are broadcasting live. It's every Thursday, 10 a.m. Pacific, and you'll see my entire personal real estate team where we sell real estate where we were talking about interest rates, loan programs, how to thrive, how to do it virtually. Tomorrow, 10 a.m. Pacific on the Brent Gove business page. There'll be hundreds of people watching, maybe over thousands all over the North America. So here's a chance to be a part of a team meeting. Even if you're a guest here, feel free to watch. It's the Brent Gove business page broadcast live, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. I have special guests coming. My team will be speaking. They're selling two, three, four, five homes in escrow right now over the past 30 days. Come be inspired, be encouraged to learn. Not about agent attraction. It's about helping buyers buy and sellers sell during this pandemic. So you will love it. Don't miss it. 10 a.m. Pacific. We do this every Thursday. You're invited to watch every Thursday on the Brink of Team. Frank, thank you for being on today. You're amazing. All right. We'll see Thank you, you guys Brent. later. Bye, everyone. Have a Bye. good day.